Hey everyone, just popping in to do a little video today. I'm going to do a Hootsuite tutorial. Um, for those of you that have never used Hootsuite before, basically what it is, is it is an automatic scheduler. So it means that you can pre-populate posts, like for a challenge group, into Hootsuite, and they will automatically fire into Facebook, into a specific group even on Facebook, at a specified date and time. Um, the really nice thing about Hootsuite, especially if you run a lot of challenge groups or free groups, is that you do not have to be in the group every day, maybe for that initial post. Um, obviously, you have to check into your challenge groups or your clean eating groups or whatever groups you're running. You have to check into them daily. But this allows you to get maybe your daily motivation message posted if you like it to go out at super early in the morning and maybe you're on the West Coast and half your challengers are on the East Coast, you don't have to wake up at 3 a.m. to get your post fired off, okay? What you can do is you can pre-populate them in Hootsuite and it'll just fire them off for you at whatever time you specify. So I'm just going to walk you through and show you a little bit about how I go about scheduling, um, kind of show you where things are, give you the lay of the land in Hootsuite, and hopefully you can use it. You'll find that it's a tool that is valuable for you saves you time or stress or worry or anything like that if you can just pre-populate posts and don't have to worry about being in your group all the time. So let me go ahead and uh, share my screen with you so I can show you what's going on here. I'm put my glasses on so I can see too. All right, so here is, this is Hootsuite, hootsuite.com. And I'm just gonna go here and click the login button and show you guys. I actually have it synced with my Facebook. So when I sign in, I sign in with Facebook. Um, now, I don't remember, I've literally had Hootsuite for so long, I don't remember how I synced it with Facebook the first time. Um, so maybe that's something you might have to Google or YouTube uh, because I do not remember. It, ought to, it just has my information saved in here for me. Um, so it's going to sync right up with my, my profile on Facebook. I always say not now. I don't want Hootsuite to do anything on my pages without my permission. So I want to be in control of what's going on. So what's opening up here is uh, basically is my Hootsuite dashboard. <clears throat> and you can see that there's just some stuff in here that I have um, some posts scheduled. This is actually my latest challenge group. I have all the posts scheduled for that group. You can see that look, um, you know, it's going to post my message in January jumpstart tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. And then I have one going off on the next day at 8.30 a.m. And the next day. And if I open this up, you can see look, all my, this is my entire post that I want to go. And it's all here. This is my post. Images. You can upload images as well. I always like to upload images with most of my posts. So all that stuff is pre-populated in here. And it's just going to fire off without me having to do anything. So let me show you how I got that to be set up like that way. You go over here to the little owl, and the owl is kind of where you set up what you're posting to. So when you go to the owl, um, I will also tell you that if you are co-running a challenge group with a friend, you need to be an admin of the group before Hootsuite is going to allow you posting privileges. This isn't a big deal if you create your own groups. Obviously, when you create a group, you are the admin. But if you're co-running a challenge group, make sure that the person who created the group, if it's not you, gives you admin privileges so that Hootsuite will actually allow you to sync with that specific group. So you just come down here to the add a social network. And you can, honestly, Hootsuite works with all sorts of social media platforms. I only use it for Facebook, so that's what I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to connect with Facebook, and it will prompt me here for my Facebook password. And once again, I'm going to say not now for this. And now it's going to pull up all of my, these are like literally every Facebook group I think I've ever created in my three years as a coach. Uh, they are all saved on here. So all you do is you select the one that you're trying to access. So what I'm going to show you today is how I'm setting up for my latest clean eating challenge, which is called meal prep and clean eating. So I'm just going to select that and say done. And now I'm going to go back here to this little, uh, the little chat boxes, which is your streams. And a stream is basically, it's just stuff that's being posted to any particular Facebook group. So you'll see that I have multiple streams going on here, um, or I'm going to as I set this up. I 
pay for Hootsuite. I, I have like a basic membership, I maybe $20, 15 a month. And because that is because I sometimes have more than three groups that I am posting to at one specific time. If you are just getting started with Hootsuite, you can get by with the free account. It allows you to have up to three um, streams at a time. If you're not posting in more than three groups automatically at a time, you can get away with that for a while until you get, you know, busier or where you have more groups and stuff going on in a month or at the same time that you want to have posts going to, then maybe it's time to consider upgrading. So I'm going to add a stream here and it's the one that I just see. These are some ones that I have going on right now that I have recently been posting to. So I'm going to be looking for meal prep and clean eating. That's the stream I want to be focused on here. And I like to click scheduled. So that it's going to show me that's what is going to give me this view, just like the January jumpstart over here. It's going to show me all the scheduled posts. That's how I like mine to display. So your stream has no content yet. All right, so let's fix that. Over here in my Google Drive, I have my posts pre typed up um, for my clean eating challenge. I always do this before a clean eating challenge. I work on getting you know everything that I want to say uh, set up here. So let's just go here and we'll just start with this one here. Sunday morning. So I'm going to copy that. And over in Hootsuite, now you can just straight up type in Hootsuite. Um, if you don't have posts pre-planned or you don't have a document or your team doesn't have a shared document of posts where you're just kind of copying and pasting and making little tweaks, um, you can just straight up type in here if you want to. But I usually just copy and paste. So the first thing you have to do is send it to, you have to select which group you're posting in right now. So mine is going to be for the meal prep and clean eating. And then I'm just gonna come over here and paste. Now it doesn't really keep the formatting too well, so I have to come back in and kind of get my spacing right. And Okay, so this is basically just the reminder um, for my clean eating challenge that we're starting tomorrow. I want everyone to make sure they're grocery shopping, meal prepping, sending me their before stats. So now you have the option to attach a photo. There's no photo that goes with this particular post. Um, so what I'm gonna do is just click on the calendar for scheduling. And I know that my group is starting on Monday and this is the Sunday post. So Sunday is the 22nd, so I'm just gonna select that. And I like my post to go off, we'll say around 8.40 a.m. So I have it scheduled on the 22nd, 8.40 a.m. and Click schedule and you'll see that it's going to pop up in my stream now. So here is my post all ready to go on Sunday, January 22nd at 8.40 a.m. So let's do another one. Come over here and snag something else. Um, all right. This one is my morning motivation. And you can see that I, I even pre-plan when when I'm planning a group, I plan when I'm, my posts are going up. So this is the Monday morning, 6.30 a.m. post. So let's go here, let's select meal prep and clean eating. Copy and paste, this is for Monday morning at 6.30 a.m. Now, let me just show you how, when you upload a file, a photo, I'll just find something random here, uh, just random that I have. <clears throat> Wait until, <laughs> when you are uploading, wait until you see the photo actually show up here before you move on to the scheduler. I made this mistake one time where I was just zipping through here and I was just click, 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 click it away so fast and none of my images actually loaded with the post. So all my posts went out, none of my images went out. And it was troublesome because it was a group where it was a free group and the image contained the daily workout. So nothing, of value was being posted in my group. So just make sure you see the photo actually post here, then move on to scheduling. So what did I say? This was Monday, 6.30 a.m. Make sure you guys always, always, always double check this. It defaults to p.m. And I made the mistake once again of just flying through here and not double checking my work. And one time I scheduled all my morning workout posts for p.m. So Basically had to do the work twice because I had to come in here and edit all of them and change them to be morning posts. So let's schedule this one. And there you go, it shows up. So you can see, I'm not gonna sit here and go through um, all the posts. You can see I obviously have a lot of posts that are gonna go out for this, this group that I'm running next week. But that is the gist of how you can schedule things in Hootsuite. Um, I am going to go ahead and 
well, I'll just come back in here and remember that I need to delete that because that is not the photo that goes with that one. So once again, you come to the owl, you select your social network. Most likely it's going to be Facebook. You connect with Facebook. It's going to have you sign in. You're going to select which groups you want to be added. Click done. And then you're going to go back to the, to the streams, which is the little chat boxes. And from your streams, if you want to get the view like this, you select which stream you're adding it to, which is going to be the name of your group. You're going to click scheduled and it's going to give you this view where it's showing up scheduled just like this and you can check that all your posts are in here when i'm done with a group i always now that i've made a few mistakes i always go back and double check that every day has a post a.m next day a.m the next day a.m good go through and check you guys save yourself the trouble of you know using doing all this work in advance of setting up your hootsuite and then your posts are on the wrong date so they're the nighttime instead of the morning, just do yourself a favor, take two extra minutes to always double check your work and then that'll be it. So now it's pretty much all done on here and my posts are going to fire when they are supposed to. So you can see that it's definitely a tool that is a time saver, life saver, whatever you wanna call it, very, very valuable resource. So I recommend you know signing up with a free account on Hootsuite, you're gonna have up to Three groups you can post to initially with that free account. That should be plenty for those of you that are just getting started. And then you can upgrade to a paid membership if you need to. But I hope this video was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, you can always reach out to me. And happy hootsweeting. Talk to you guys later.